friend Christopher Straub today and we are going to get cooking. Christopher, I was surprised to learn that you actually don't cook because you're good at so many things and you're so creative and a creator of things, but cooking, no? No, I never really got into cooking and I came from a family that had a lot, of, had chefs, and but it just never appealed to me and so this is the most food I've ever seen in my kitchen at one it, time. We arrived at this kitchen today and it was pristine. I'm sorry I dirtied it up. It's going to be fine. Okay. I think the results are going to are going to be uh, be why we're doing this. All right. So today I'm going to teach you to do one of the very easiest things to do, which is roast a chicken. And it often is a very impressive meal you can make for a family, but super easy. I don't look at this and go, this is going to be super okay. easy. Are you ready to get started? Yeah. So one thing my mom and my aunt always taught me is you need a towel over your shoulder when you're cooking. That's what has to happen. Are you ready? Mine coordinates. Perfect. All right. Perfect. I'm ready. Okay. So. The first thing we're going to do before we get our chicken ready right. is we are going to make a bed of vegetables to go under the chicken. So we have some carrots. Sliced carrots. Do you like carrots? <laughs> do you, you recognize carrots? I do, I do. Okay. I do. So we are going to pour these carrots in here. And my friend Alice Soifer taught me that you actually don't need to peel carrots, which okay. I love that tip. But you still wash everything, right? Washed everything, right. yes. And then we have one of your favorites, squash. Okay. So we're going to put some squash here. I like here. squash. Yes, on the bottom of the pan. Can, we, can I break it up? Yes, break can it I be up, a please. Yes, be a helper, please. And then we're going to put also some zucchini. I am a vegetable freak. Then what we need to do is add a little bit of seasoning. Okay. And so one thing I want to show you is we've got this traditional salt grinder, which is great. You can go ahead and put some salt in there. All right, how do I do this? Just take the is there lid, a lid? Yep. lid off and then twisty, twisty. How much? Mm, just. That seems good. Okay. And people can also salt after it's made. Oh, great. Then we are going to add some of this Italian seasoning. Rosemary, garlic, oregano, parsley, all of those things. And it comes in this handy little wow. grinder. Grinder? So you can open that up. How do I do this? Help oh, me. Open. There, I did. And then grind onto oh here. Yeah. Oh, this okay. is such a good mm -hmm. trick. So then we need a bed for our vegetables. So we're going to put in some olive oil. Do I want to put this whole thing in? No. I okay. would just probably <laughs> pour enough. Drizzle? Yep. Drizzle. Drizzle. Perfect. You like? And then um, a lot of times they say, oh, stir. And I just kind of I just kind of shake things around. Now we come to our chicken. All right. So we've washed our hands thoroughly because we're going to be handling Scrubbed this up. chicken. I've never even touched a raw chicken Touched before. a chicken? Okay. So we have already washed this chicken, patted it dry, and now what we are going to do is, is stuff... Is this normal? This is normal, yeah. Do I just, should I hold it? Yeah, hold it. So we're going to stuff the inside of our chicken. I'm actually going to hold it, and you're going to stuff the inside oh, okay, of our that's, chicken. Oh, okay, that's better. So we would like some onion How many in onions? our chicken. Just like mm, some, and we can actually put some in this vegetable. Okay, so there's like a half a cup or something? Yes, yep, some. Some. We don't need to be exact. Okay. Okay, then actually pour the rest of those onions Again, in here. I'll break yep. Them up. Yep, perfect. Then we're going to pour some garlic That's in our chicken. That's a lot of garlic. How much garlic? We don't garlic need do we all that, but just some. Is that enough? Then we are going to put a little bit of this rosemary. Not all of it, because we're going to put some on the top. I love Doesn't the smell that smell of amazing? So it's just a little bit, you said? Mm hmm. So then I would like you to put these lemons in the chicken. And you might think you're squeezing them. You're not. You just, just drop them right just in. Just drop them oh. right in. Shove them in. Mm -hmm. Shove them in. Shove. Shove There's them in. There's not a lot of room in here. I, I know. know. Well, <laughs> we're making our chicken nice and full. All fun. right. So then we are going to place our chicken in the pan. Again, okay. people talk about tying the legs together, which is a pretty official thing to do. I actually never do it. I just put is it, it in. To keep, is, are people it's just, saying that to keep everything in? Maybe. Not maybe. To, so it walks off? But I never. No, it's, yeah, so it doesn't walk <laughs> off. So then I place the chicken in here. I tuck the wings under, okay. and then I'm going to put some melted butter on top. We actually probably need, oh, do you have a, like a butter brush or an oil brush? A butter brush. Some kind of oil brush. Is this it? Oh, yeah. He I has it. have something. He has All it, right, yes. Cool. I'd like you to then brush the top of this chicken with the butter. Oh. The whole thing? Like yep, all the, the whole thing. Bits? Yes. We need to preheat our oven. We haven't done that yet. Okay. Do you know how to work your oven? No, I don't. But I like, I, I find this very therapeutic, like okay. painting butter on this thing. Okay, right, so we're going to be done with the butter, all and right. then I want you to sprinkle some rosemary on I top. Can handle this. And then we are going to turn on your oven and preheat it. Oh, this is, look how beautiful this is. Christopher, you have created a beautiful chicken. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> so 
we are going to now preheat the oven okay. and put this in. We're going to cook it for about an hour and a half. It depends on the weight of the chicken. Okay. And then we have a full meal here. Are you ready right. to set your oven? I'm, I'm, I'm ready to do it. Okay. Turn your oven on to 400. Do you want to put your chicken in? Oh my gosh, look how clean this oven. This See, it's never been used. Okay, in the middle yeah. rack. Yeah. And we're gonna set the timer for 75 minutes. Okay. Done. Beeping. We just made a chicken. After these messages, simple tips on turning leftover chicken into delicious meals.